Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Brother Printer software on your Windows computer. So this will also apply for Macintosh devices as well. So if you are trying to install your new Brother Printer or scanner, you've already have your ink cartridges already lined up, and for some reason you're unable to get it hooked up properly. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the latest or available driver software. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up a web browser. doesn't matter which one, but we're going to open up Google Chrome for today's tutorial. And you want to navigate over to Google. And into Google Search, you want to search for Brother Printer Drivers. And go ahead and search for that. And you want to go ahead and scroll down. You want to select support.brother.com. Go ahead and select that. You can also type it into the address bar as well. And you're going to go ahead and navigate over to wherever your printer is. And you can also search by the model name as well. You type that in here. And like I said, you could scroll down and select your custom printer. So let's say it's just an inkjet printer. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then DCP1 series. So again, that's purely, you know, depending on what your situation is, what kind of printer you have. You would just go ahead and select anything, again, what is applicable for your device. And I'm going to select the DCP slash 165C. And now I'm going to go ahead and select the correct version of Windows or Mac OS or Linux. You can even do that. So we're going to select OK. And now you're going to have a prompt for full driver and software package, as well as for drivers or utilities. So you have a ton of opportunities here for different utilities, such as the network connection repair tool, or you know a firmware update if you want to do that, or just specific drivers. I usually recommend doing the full driver and software package download. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then you want to agree to the end user license terms and begin the download process. Go ahead and open that file up once it's done downloading. And you want to select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. Select OK for your correct language here. And select OK. You want to select yes, and you want to select the standard package, and select next again. So at this point, you go ahead and plug your brother printer into your device, and you would follow along with the on-screen prompts. So again, this will be very specific depending on your printer specifically, you can follow along with your prompts and that should pretty much be about it guys. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.